Now, a great way to work off that shepherd's pie is to head over to Van Cortlandt Park. It's the fourth largest park in New York City, and with everything from hiking to basketball, baseball, and even a museum where George Washington slept a few times, all under the canopy of 80,000 trees. During the 1800s, an influx of Irish workers were hired to build Van Cortlandt Park's aqueduct and the Croton Reservoir. Van Cortlandt Park, located in the North Bronx, is made up of over 1,100 acres of steep ridges, hills, and flat open spaces. They were created about 20,000 years ago when New York was once completely buried beneath massive glaciers of ice. Once the ice receded, it left behind the beautiful VC Park and plenty of history, too. So I'm here with Margot Perrin, the parks administrator at Van Cortlandt Park. Margot, thanks for having us. Tell us a little bit about the area that we're in now. I mean, you could step into this area and really feel like you're nowhere close to New York City. We're actually at the very northern border of New York City, just by Yonkers. And our forests are one of our treasures here. People come to this park for two main reasons. One is for the nature here, tremendous acreage tremendous habitat here. We have weekly birding programs. There's chipmunk that just ran by your foot. I saw one. <laughs> I did. <laughs> there's possum. There's raccoons. And the other is sports. I know one of the things that you're most passionate about is the new conservancy that has started here at the park. Yes, Tell us a little bit yes. about that. I'm proud to wear my badge. It's a great one. Yeah. There's so much that we can do in this park. And we aspire to be similar to the conservancy in Central Park. We're looking to make things better. These parks can survive, but in order for them to flourish, they really need the help, the additional help of the community. Oh, absolutely. Parks Department has two main standards that we have to keep for every park, and that is to be safe and clean. And the Conservancy wants to take it even further and raise the standard to making it beautiful, making it a destination for people to come to. Now we're going to hop in a Parks Department truck and check out some beautiful spots in this park. Let's go. All right. Over at the parade ground and Indian field is where the Paleo and Lenape Indians settled and also searched the forest for nuts, fruits, and edible plants. Margo, tell us about our first stop here today. We're at the parade ground. It's 65 acres, and right now we use it for playing fields. Behind me is the house of the Van Cortland family. It's the oldest building in the entire Bronx, and George Washington really did sleep there a couple he times. Did, huh? yeah. This is called the parade ground because George Washington brought his troops here. Now it's beautiful green grass. This is a very new renovation and there's 20 athletic fields here. We're kind of a sports mecca for two sports. Cricket, we've got the most cricket fields in one park, 11 cricket fields, and then cross country running. If you know a cross country runner, they know of Van Cortland Park. What circles the parade ground is called the flats and that's a, a mile and a half. Now, this, this new grass, I mean, this looks like really nice shag carpeting. To experience it fully, you have to take your shoes off. I'm fair game for anything. Now, being a city boy, I don't experience all that much grass yeah. under my feet, but this is, this is incredible. So it's on to the next place? Yep. All right, let's go. I'll put these on later. This is the formal entrance to the park. Which is, I mean, it's a beautiful sign. This almost is reminiscent of like the Willy Wonka factory or something terrific like that. I think that energizes you going into the park. We are. We're entering someplace really exciting. Magical, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. We're at the corner of Broadway and Van Cortland Park South. I want to show you the monument to the coyotes that notice, sometimes yes. come in the park. There are coyotes in this park. Every once in a while, yeah. Okay. Actually, they're breeding because we've seen babies. When was this statue placed here? About 13 years ago. So around here, we like to do nice uh, landscaping. And we have the roses um, and also beautiful trees around. And it's, it's just a place where people love to come and picnic and relax. On to the next spot? Yep. Thanks, Margo. We're in the Chandler Recreation Area. It's a picnic area, just newly renovated. New grills, new tables. There's also these red cans, and people are supposed to put their hot coals in the red cans. There's real problems when people put their hot coals in the garbage can right, so, or on the tree roots. So I guess maybe we'll take a seat after all this I long walking one. tour. Yeah. 
And if the park's natural features and rich history aren't enough to make you forget you're in the Bronx, you can go fishing in Van Cortlandt Lake. Tell us a little bit more about that lake. There is wonderful fishing there. It was created by the Van Cortlandt family way back when, when they had their plantation here. They dammed up Tibbetts Brook that was there, and they put a grist mill because they were growing wheat, and they needed the mill to grind the wheat. Creating that dam created the lake. Putnam Railroad used to run right through there up into uh, Westchester. That stopped in the 50s, and since then, we use it as a bicycle trail. So one of the nice things about visiting Van Cortlandt Park on a budget is you could just look into the history of things. Absolutely. The Van Cortlandt family having very deep history here, but beyond that, we have a memorial to the Stockbridge Indians. There was a big massacre here. So there's a lot of feeling of connection to the past as well as what's going on right here in the present. Where do we find ourselves now, Margo? We're at the stadium, Van Cortland Stadium. And this was built in 1939. It was completed. And it was a structure put here by Robert Moses. And we love it. It's got nice architectural details it's to it. It's got great character to it. It does. It and does. it also seems to be a bustling hub of activity. Oh yeah. It's actually a complex here. So we've got three baseball fields behind us. We've got a running track behind us with a rubberized track. Even the backside of the stadium serves a purpose. It's got handball walls on it, which I thought was really neat. And then you have the basketball courts back there. This is one of the big hubs. Yeah, I think the parade ground is a huge hub. And then here, you've got different kinds of sports all happening. For more information on Van Cortlandt Park, check out this info.